Now that we've looked at the Lord of the Flies novel, including its plot, characters, context, themes, as well as important factors that you need to be aware of when studying this novel, let's have a look at the exam paper questions. Now, personally, I love teaching Lord of the Flies. In fact, it's one of my favorite novels that I love teaching. However, the aim of the game when it comes to these exams is not just to simply enjoy and see this novel as a fun and interesting novel. The aim of the game is to secure a top level eight and a level nine mark, okay? That's our end goal. So now what I'm going to do in the following videos is I will go over with you how to consider answering questions to pass exam papers. I'll firstly begin with a walkthrough of two past paper questions. This is the 2018 paper two and the 2019 paper two English literature paper. Both of them, of course, include Lord of the Flies as one of the questions, in addition to the anthology poetry questions and the unseen questions. Now, I'll begin by looking at and briefly seeing what the two questions that appeared in both papers. And of course, always remember that in both papers, you select one out of two questions. One of the questions is usually a character related question and the other question is a theme question. So I'm going to then also suggest certain things that you can consider when looking at both papers and the questions that appear in both papers. And then afterwards, I will walk you through a model answer. And in fact, I'll walk you through two model answers that I have prepared and talk you through firstly how to structure these, how to use the PEE method. And most importantly, what made these two exam questions really strong level nine answers so that you can get an understanding of how to structure your answers, okay? So we're gonna begin by having a walkthrough of the paper two past paper. So let's get started. Now let's first look at the 2018 paper. So as I mentioned, The Lord of the Flies appears in paper two of the English literature exams. Now do bear in mind that, of course, as I mentioned before, this is the paper that includes the anthology question as well as the unseen poetry question. Now let's have a look at what had appeared in this year's paper. So of course, as you're looking through this paper, you flick past all the other books which you're not studying and you get to The Lord of the Flies question. So now you've got a quest choice of two questions. Either you choose question 13 or question 14. My suggestion in terms of writing the content for this essay is pick out four points. So you first read the question, select which question you want to go for, highlight the keywords, and then think up four points and make sure you spend some time planning this, including the quotations. And I'm going to show you the quick plans that I've sketched up for both 13 and 14. Now, question 13 for this year asks... How does Golden present Simon as different from the other boys on the island? Write about what Simon says and does that suggests he's different to the other boys. How Golding presents him as different. Now for question number 14. The head is for the beast, it's a gift. This is a quotation. And the question asks, how does Golden present the importance of the beast to different characters in Lord of the Flies? Write about the ways that some characters react to the beast and how Golden presents the importance of the beast. Now, if I were to pick both of these questions or either of these questions, of course, do you remember that you only pick one? This is firstly the thing that I would do. So, of course, I would highlight the keywords, as you can see here for this first question. It's mainly Simon. So that's the character you're supposed to focus in on and how he is different. OK, so those are the, your keywords. Now, in terms of what I would write for this, and don't forget, you need to add an introduction and conclusion. I would suggest going for four detail points. Of course, if you have more time, you can have five points. The most important thing is that you need to add analysis. And when I do go over some model responses that I've written, I will show you exactly what I mean by this level of analysis okay now these would be the four points I would consider when I'm answering this type of question the first point is Simon's role as a religious visionary figure so he's portrayed by Golding in a very religious aura and the quotation you can use is his eyes are so bright so I'm going to embed that he's a mystic okay the second point you can consider for this kind of question is that Simon is kind generous and he's also again depicted as Christ-like and this is interesting when you think about this quotation Simon found for them the fruit they could not reach and of course this is for the other young children and this portrays him as kind and different from the other boys the third point you can consider is that Simon is enlightened about human nature he starts learning and understanding human nature and the quotation that could go with this is maybe there's a beast maybe it's only us and the fourth and final thing you can consider for this question is his death is similar to Jesus's crucifixion okay so there's this kind of image of him as almost a messianic figure a 
amongst the boys, hence why he's so different. And the quotation is actually taken from his death, a body on the hill. Kind of like the way Jesus, when he died and he was crucified, he was on the hill at the top of the hill, okay? Now, when it comes to question 14, this is a theme question. So do remember, of course, you always get a character question and a theme question. In this instance, you're given the quotation and the keywords I would suggest from this question is importance, beast, and different characters. Now, always remember, when you're given a quotation, begin your first point with the quote directly. That means you are answering the question. So in this case, start with the quote, the quotation, the headers for the beast is a gift. And what this shows is that Jack's group honors the beast, okay? It, it, this is similar to ancient civilizations which gave sacrifices to gods to appease them, okay? So of course here I've touched on why the beast is important, all the keywords, and of course, the different characters in this instance in this first point is Jack and his group, how they honor this beast, kind of like ancient civilizations. The second point I'll talk about for this question is for Sam and Eric, so these are the other two characters, the beast is the idea that evil is something outside that they should escape. And the quotation to use is the beast followed us. The third point I would consider for this kind of question is the little ones believe the beast is a devil to be fed. And the quotation to use is he says he saw the beastie, the snake thing. And the final point I would consider is actually Simon as a character, his epiphany, his realization that the beast represents humanity's dark side. And the quotation is maybe it's only us. So let's have a look at the 2019 paper and what question came up for this. And again, you just scroll past all the other questions. You keep on scrolling or rather, of course, turning the page. And then, so now let's have a look at question number 13 for this paper. The question asks, how far does Golden present Piggy? As a character with useful and important ideas in Lord of the Flies, write about what Piggy says and does that can be seen as useful and important and how far Golden presents Piggy as a character with useful and important ideas. Question 14 focuses our attention on one particular chapter. So in chapter 8 of The Lord of the Flies, Ralph asks, what makes things break up like they do? And the question asks, how does Golding present the reasons why society on the island breaks up? Write about what happens on the island, how Golding presents the reasons why society on the island breaks up. So as you can see here, these two questions, you have a character question. So this question number 13 is about Piggy. And of course, you've got a theme question. This is to do with society. Now, if I were to answer either or both for question number 13, the Piggy question, the keywords in this are Piggy being useful and presenting important ideas to the group. Now for this kind of question, the first point I would make is when it comes to Piggy, he's an intelligent representative of civilization, which can also be weak and easily broken. And the quotation I'd use is he caressed the shell respectfully. This is referring to the conch. The second point I would make is that Piggy can organize the boys, meaning of course he is useful and he suggests using the conch for them to speak. So the quotation is, I've got the conch, just you listen. The third point I would make for this question is he tries, so this is Piggy, to give boys rational, well thought out, scientific advice. And the quotation here is life is scientific. And the fourth point I would develop is Piggy's usefulness sadly is limited as he isn't seen as a leader. In fact, he's seen as a weak person in a very predatory environment. And the quotation used for this is Piggy was an outsider by accent, by fat specs. Okay. Now for question 14, this is the one where it has a quotation, as I keep on saying. Firstly, of course, you look for the keywords. In this instance, it's reasons, society, and breaks up. Now, always begin your first point by addressing the quote directly and analyzing it. So here, what makes things break up like they do? And Ralph is the one that asks this of Piggy. After Jack creates a rival group and there's a division between the boys, and this shows that human nature is really greedy. This is why society breaks up. Now, the second point for this question I would consider is without strict, harsh rules, our savage nature as human beings is actually what causes society to break up. Now, the quotation I would select for this is Jack, ellipsis, liberated from shame and self-consciousness. Now, the third point I would discuss is how lust for power can cause society to break up due to power struggles. And the quotation I would select from the, novel, the, from the novel is I ought to be a chief. And the fourth and final point I would make in relation to reasons why society breaks up is that fear can cause society's collapse. So the beast leads boys to fearfully see Jack as a better leader. So they're acting out of fear. And the two quotations I actually select here, and of course, I'm going to keep them brief, is firstly, there aren't any grown ups. And the next one is beastie. So let's have a look at how to construct good model answers.